What's up, YouTube Revolutions? I'm Fected Gaming 349 at your fingertips. So today I got a lore video for the main villain known as Rice in Dying Light 1. Since this game is gonna be nine years old either by the time this video is released, or it could be out just in time, or if not, before the nine year anniversary. Dying Light 1 released on January 27th, 2015, so it's quite an old game but aged gracefully like wine. But anyways, let's talk about Kadir Raiz Suleiman's backstory, pre-Haran outbreak, and analyze what exactly his life of occupation was about. Kadir Suleiman was a colonel in the Turkish military and also a politician for the country of Turkey. Now fast forward to the events of the Haran Global Athletic Games in the year 2014, which is pretty much like the Summer Olympics, and eventually a sickness happened at these Global Athletic Games, which made people have flu-like symptoms, and eventually the sick got very violent and started biting people. This was the very start of the Haran virus epidemic. Also, just letting you know, there's so much more backstory within the Haran 2014 Global Athletic Games. All you just gotta do is look up Dying Light Nightmare Row. It's a book and you can read a lot about what happened exactly at this event. But anyways, let's talk about Rise during the event of when he was a politician. There was an election that Rise was involved in and he was running against another politician named Errol Asani and Rise and his political regime lost to Errol Asani's regime just a little before the Haran outbreak. Errol Asani was elected as the provincial governor in Turkey where the fictional city Haran is set in. But I guarantee you Kadir Rais Suleiman was extremely pissed when he lost this election since it was said he wasn't the most stable politician. Just take a listen to what Kyle Crane said in this one part of the story. It's gone from ruthless politician to fucking warlord. So with that said, Kadir Rais Suleiman going from ruthless politician to warlord, does this mean he was a sociopath or a psychopath? Well, we will go into the meaning of psychopath. A psychopath is a person who doesn't feel sympathy or empathy or care for any individual but themselves. And looking upon Kadir Rai Suleiman's past, he definitely was more on the lines of a sociopath since he actually had care for a certain person. Kadir Rai Suleiman had a brother who was a paraplegic and was in a wheelchair and had major care for him. Kadir Rais Suleiman's brother was named Hassan Suleiman. Let's take a listen to the opening minutes of Dying Light. We will hear a little bit about Hassan Suleiman. Data on the subject, Kadir Suleiman. A local political figure hired to maintain order after the outbreak. His brother Hassan died in a disease-related incident before we were able to evacuate him. Suleiman blamed the GRE for Hassan's death. So yeah, Kadir Suleiman most likely only felt sorry for his own family members which are mostly unknown people but it seemed like Hassan is the one that mattered to him the most and eventually when Hassan got killed by the infected, Kadir blamed the GRE. The reason Kadir blamed the GRE was because the GRE had put Kadir in charge of trying to maintain order in Haran and Kadir requested for Hassan to be extracted out of Haran because it was definitely no place for a paraplegic in a wheelchair to survive. And once Hassan Suleiman had died, Kadir Suleiman was no longer wanting to go by that name and carry the family name anymore and renamed himself just to Rise. Rise apparently said that Kadir Suleiman was dead. And just take a listen to this part. Suleiman, you're dead. You are right about one thing, Crane. Suleiman, he's dead. But now let's take a step back and talk once again about Rise when he was Kadir Suleiman as a corrupt politician. Kadir Suleiman most likely hated the residents of Haran when he lost that election to Errol Asani because Kadir was most likely gonna inflate tax rates for the citizens of Haran for extra money for the Suleiman family. But most definitely for Hassan Suleiman since that was the most important person in his life and would try to do anything for him. But now let's talk about the events once again about Kadir becoming Rice. 
The transformation from a corrupt politician to warlord made Rise steal a highly classified secret document file from the GRE, and it really pissed off the GRE because this file sets up the GRE's corruption in the story. Just take a listen to this. He stole a highly sensitive file which became his bargaining chip against the GRE, with instructions to publicize it if anything happened to him. Data on the subject. The stolen file. Jump in 10 seconds. It details the incomplete process of synthesizing a cure for the virus. If implemented in its current state, the produced substance may be extremely toxic. Now. Also, the file contains full description of the virion structure. Any attempt to use it would result in countless lives lost. It must be recovered. The GRE is meant to protect the public and research a cure for viruses around the world and makes them based on the WHO, aka the World Health Organization. With that said, the GRE sends in our main protagonist Kyle Crane in to find Kadir Suleiman and retrieve the stolen GRE file. But more on that GRE file and the corruption behind this file more later on in the video. But when Kyle Crane arrives in Haran, he meets a group of people known as the Runners who reside in an apartment tower and is led by a man named Harris Brecken. The GRE want to know if Brecken is Kadir Suleiman, but obviously it's not. Crane here. Report. Tower boss is named Brecken and he's definitely not your man. The other likely suspect is this warlord, basically. Local guy. Calls himself Rise. He's hoarding Antizen and then gouging the hell out of anybody who wants to buy some. I'm on a mission to get Antizen from the airdrop. If I don't succeed, they'll have to come up with something else. Acknowledged. Good job, Crane. You're doing well. Stay on task, and we'll be in touch. Be sure to call us immediately if and when you get that Antizen. Kyle Crane goes to the HQ to where Rise is and notices it's run by a ruthless gang of drunks, rapists, and criminals and corrupt former soldiers. Don't shoot! Don't shoot! Hands up! What the fuck do you want? I'm here to see Rice. Brecken sent me. Brecken? That asshole in the tower? Alright, what does he want? I've come to make a deal. <laughs> what kind of deal? The kind I make with Rice, not with his flunkies. Alright. Let him through. This ought to be entertaining. How long have we been friends, Osman? We have been friends for a very long time. That is why I'm so surprised that you would steal from me. Haven't I seen you somewhere before? Now I give you a choice. Very simple. Your right hand or your left. <laughs> left. Hmm. Was that my left or your left? And this is when Kyle Crane reports to the GRE that Rise is in fact Kadir Suleiman. Just met Rise. There's no question. That's Suleiman. Guy's a psychopath. But let's talk about what Rise enforces his gang to do. Rise and his gang like manipulating the citizens of Haran and extorts protection money from the residents of Haran by taking a bunch of their stuff similar to how in The Walking Dead a group called the Saviors takes a bunch of survivors stuff and in return offer protection for the settlements. What's important is that Rise sent me and that you owe him some money. I've never seen you before. For all I know you're just some random asshole. Fuck off. I'll tell you what. How about I break both your legs and drag you through the streets back to Rice's place, huh? And then he can explain to you that you should have cooperated. Okay, okay, Jesus. You are one of Rice's thugs. You guys are the only ones who act this shitty. Here, here's your money. Take it. And if I have to come back here... You won't get any more attitude. Mi casa su casa. Just don't hurt me, all right? I'm here to make a pickup for Rise. Back already? We just paid off, you bloodsuckers. Don't shoot the messenger. I'm just trying to get by like everybody else. Yeah? So are we. Rai said he'd protect us if we paid him. But so far, all he's done is take our money. There's no protection, just threats. You any different? Look, all I want to do is get this over with. What's it going to take, huh? Don't need to point out how easy it would be to set this entire place on fire. Jesus Christ. You people are fucking monsters. All my money's in that satchel. Take it and get the fuck out. 
Hey, for what it's worth, this isn't something I want to do. I'd rather be helping you guys. And yet you're still doing it, aren't you? The reason Rice probably does stuff like this is most likely because after the events of the outbreak and Rise losing the election and his brother, he got power hungry and scared all of the Haran citizens into submission and made himself be the most feared person in all of Haran. So, it's safe to say that Rice isn't the most popular person in town, huh? No, but he is the most feared. You know the old saying? It's better to be feared than loved if one cannot be both. Uh, Machiavelli. Correct. Smart fellow, that one. Now, let's talk about the closest thing to a cure that the GRE has made for the Haran virus. This stuff is called Antizin, and the GRE airdrops that stuff in by plane, and Rise and his men hog most of it unfairly because the GRE purposefully drops it in the areas for Rise and his crew can get access to it much more because the GRE had their suspicions that obviously Rise and, his, and the evil gang was Kadir Suleiman. The antizen may not be a cure, but it suppresses the symptoms of the Haran virus and prevents you from turning and staying human for a longer period of time. But yeah, as you can tell, when Rise hogs this kind of stuff away from the Haran residents, it's definitely very messed up because he is probably trying to make survival much harder and punishing for the Haran residents because of the loss of his brother Hassan and the loss of the election. This is for sure showing signs of selfishness from Rise, since he doesn't have a care about how anyone feels and just wants them to either die or just all get infected. But eventually when Rise finds out that Kyle Crane was not working for Brecken and the Tower Runners and knew he was hired by the GRE to find the classified file, Rise tells the truth about what was actually on the secret classified file. Your skills no longer come as a surprise, Crane. The GRE selects its operatives well. Oh, shit. Bassam, can you hear me? Loud and clear. Publish the file. Right away, sir. And there. Easy. <laughs> you just doomed thousands of innocent people. That's what you get with your fucking chaos. You don't know what was on that file, do you, Craig? You only prove my point for me. The GRE plans to weaponize the virus. Not cure it. They're only interested in profit, not saving lives. And by following their rules, you have become their trained monkey. Pathetic. Rice reveals that the GRE was not going to find a cure, but rather weaponize the virus and sell it off to the highest bidder. When Rice ordered his men to publish that file to the public, this eventually popped up on the news. An internal global relief effort document surfaced today that, if verified, implicates the GRE in a far-reaching criminal conspiracy. Instead of trying to find a cure for the Haran virus, according to the file, the GRE had plans to weaponize it and sell it to the highest bidder. Worldwide backlash. This means the GRE was gonna use the Haran virus as a WMD, aka weapons of mass destruction or chemical warfare to fight future wars like potentially a third world war. But when Rise got his men to publish the file to the public and Kyle Crane says you doomed many people, you can see Rise looking all smug about it and doesn't care for the people's safety in the world and wants to just spread chaos since this is his way of grieving over the loss of his brother Hassan. Listen to when Rise says this monologue about chaos. Chaos, Crane. Chaos is the one true order of things. But to pretend otherwise is the sheerest folly. Allow me to demonstrate. At this point, with him being all fixated about wanting to cause chaos and fear into anyone with the threat of the Haran virus not being cured and rather be weaponized, this is definitely on the lines of psychopathic tendencies. Also, look at what Rise did to Dr. Zera, a very innocent doctor who is trying to research a cure for the Haran virus and all he does is just injure him and just talks about chaos and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, this is definitely less, just very messed up. Just watch this, guys. 
You'll get nothing from me. I'm less concerned with making you talk, Doctor, than I am in preventing your escape. <laughs> Sadistic fuck, he's an old man. Give the doctor some first aid. And take her into the pit. Doc, come on, let's get you out of here. Green, save these people. They don't deserve all of this. You, give me that torch. But now let's skip to the events of when Rise wants to lure in Kyle Crane and Jade Aldemir to one of his outposts known as the museum. Rise kidnaps Jade and makes her fight in a mass ton of infected and it results in her getting bitten on the leg. And eventually, when Kyle arrived to rescue Jade, it's exactly what Rise wanted Kyle to do since Rise had a feeling Kyle started to develop feelings for Jade. When Kyle Crane found out that Jade was bitten, Rise threw one antizen vial to Kyle and Jade and told them only one person will get the antizen. Rise knew Kyle wanted to pick Jade to get the antizen since Kyle was getting delusional and thought he still had antizen left in his system, but they were both on the edge of turning. Rise was getting amusement from both Jade and Kyle arguing and fighting about who gets the antizen, and Jade injects Kyle with the antizen, and Jade turns shortly after. Just watch this moment when Rise gets the amusement out of it. But now let's skip on to the moment when Rise makes a deal with the GRE. Rise definitely made a deal with the GRE and decided to not hate them since the idea of weaponizing the Haran virus sounded good to him and decided that there's nothing left for him in Haran, so the GRE agreed to extract him out of there. Listen to this conversation when Kyle Crane wants to contact the GRE, but surprisingly, Rise is the one that answers the radio instead. This is Crane, do you copy? Kyle Crane, you can hear me, can you not? Rise, where are you? Exactly where I should be, atop my own tower. Of course, mine is not quite complete, but it still stands as a monument to chaos, to entropy, to what it means to be ruled only by oneself. I'll kill you for what you did to Jade. For everything, I'll fucking kill you! I had hoped that would be your attitude. You see, we are at war, you and I. A war of opposing philosophies. A war to see whose vision of the world proves true. Come, Crane. Come and challenge me. What is it you Americans are so fond of saying? I dare you. You know what? Forget it. There is no war. There's only your fucked up outlook. Go to hell. Oh, no, 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 no. I won't be going to hell. I will be leaving. Rando, you see, I have made a deal with our GRE brothers using your very own communicator, no less. They know I have all of Dr. Zera's research data. They call it the keys to the kingdom. Very shortly, a helicopter will come and take me away. Imagine the damage I shall be able to do outside the confines of these walls. Of course, if you think you can stop me. You crazy son of a bitch! That is what I had hoped to hear. Come and find me, Crane. Let us finish what we began. So as you can tell, when Rise says imagine the damage I can cause outside these walls means he wants the Haran virus to spread and just get out into the world and kill tons of people since he doesn't care and thinks the rest of the world should be responsible for his personal issues and just wants to completely inflict chaos. And when Rise was gonna extract out of Haran, Rise even screwed over his own gang. 
Listen to this conversation when Kyle Crane finds one of Rise's men wounded and it's Kareem. Crane, Rise said you would come. You've been shot. What the fuck is going on? This is what we get for trying to make a living. Rise betrayed us all. Yeah, I'm on my way up there, Kareem. I'm gonna kill that motherfucker with my bare hands. Not this way. We've laid mines on the two floors above us. Go through the second block as high as you can. Then you can come back. This furthermore indicates that Rise is 100% a backstabber and manipulates and uses people till they are no longer useful. This is 100% signs of being a psychopath, despite Rise in his past not being a psychopath and was more of a sociopath. I heard a saying, people are born psychopaths or sociopaths. But the way this story played out with Rise, especially after the events of Hassan dying and Rise losing the election to the start of the Haran epidemic, these were the moments Rise was born into being a psychopath. Think of it this way. Kadir Suleiman was born sociopath, but eventually when his world crumbled around him and he renamed himself to Rise, he is reborn a psychopath. Just remember this, Kadir is a sociopath and Rise is a psychopath. But anyways, that's my lore for Kadir Rise Suleiman. If you enjoyed and learned a lot about the Dying Light lore, please drop a like. And if you're a Dying Light fan, consider subscribing to the channel and ding that bell icon really hard so I can always stay within fast reach of your fingertips when new uploads arrive. Zomfected Gaming 349 over and out. <laughs>